What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Online. And today I'd like to kind of just talk about some things. Of course, you know, we've talked about here on the channel before in videos. And that's really, you know, kind of what the community wants with the game. The last couple updates since a little before Christmas up till now have been disappointing. A lot of people do not like, you know, the weekly kind of drip fed content that we get, even though now it seems to be kind of just more things on sale and, and double cash or double gold or, you know, double XP in a lot of these you know, a lot of these weekly updates and a lot of people are just kind of getting upset with that. A lot of older players that have been around the game for a while, including myself, I started playing during the beta. A lot of people have stepped away. I don't play Red Dead as much as I used to. I mean, I'll be honest, Red Dead Online. A lot of times now I feel like I have, you know, enough cash or gold or whatever, just kind of buy what I want and just kind of, you know, lost its luster, I guess. I know a lot of people are still coming into the game. I know a lot. Of, some players won't say all oh, the game's dead. Nobody's playing anymore. That is not true because now that the game is, can be purchased, you know, separately, you can buy just Red Dead Online by itself. There's a lot, a lot of new players coming into the game. A lot of new players experiencing the things that we've experienced as the beta for the first time. And of course, that's going to hold new people's interest for a good while. Um, I, I just wish that we could get a few more things in Red Dead Online that you know we want as a community. They don't have to add everything at once now. Wouldn't that be great if we got one massive update that you know fixed all the bugs, fixed all the error codes, added in everything that we've talked about over the years: robberies, train robberies, uh, bank robberies, uh, owning houses, being able to own boats and, and drive them. It, just a lot of things that we've talked about in general. I just kind of wish that they would start adding small things in with these weekly updates instead of doing one large update, you know, just a couple times a year. We got the Bounty Hunter update not long ago, which just kind of extended the Bounty Hunter role to be a little bit of a lar larger role, added some new things into it, but nothing too crazy. Uh, I think a lot of people are wanting a new role altogether. And if we look at last year, we didn't really get that many massive updates, only just a handful. And that seems kind of where Rockstar is at. A lot of people are saying, you know, they're making GTA 6. They're worried about, you know, bringing GTA 5 to new gen. And I, I, I've always saw that as an issue, you know, that Rockstar knows that GTA makes them a lot of money. And it seems like, in a lot of people's minds, or it feels like anyway, that they spend more of their time on GTA than they do Red Dead Online. But at the same time, if you look at the game, even in the online mode, while the story, in my opinion, in Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably one of the best, you know, story experiences I've played in a really long time, the online mode is still absolutely gorgeous. You can have an incredible, uh, fun time, uh, incredible experience playing Red Dead Online. I know a lot of people don't like the griefers. A lot of people don't like the situation of you know, people just out killing you while you're doing whatever. I understand all that. But if you look at the game just as a whole, it's a very beautiful game, a very entertaining game to play with friends by yourself. Uh, and it just needs a few things here and there done, I think, week in and week out to really make the experience even more enjoyable for new players and, you know, returning players or people that have not stopped playing. Uh, you know, a lot of people are like, well, you should not play that game anymore. It's dead. Why do you play it? I, I never really understood why anybody talks about that, you know, or really says that about any game. The way I look at it is if you're the only person playing the game and the server's still up and that is what you enjoy, play what you enjoy. I've, all, I've always said that here on the channel. I, I may not be a fan of a certain game, but just because I don't like it doesn't mean that somebody else should enjoy it. So I'm never going to sit here and say you shouldn't play it or it's not good or whatever the case may be. I may tell you I don't like it for certain reasons, but not everybody likes the same thing. And I think if we got some small updates with these weekly kind of just drip fed content updates, it would really help out. Uh, I know they try to fix bugs and things like that. And it seems like the more updates we had, the more things we have brought to the game, the more problems we see, the more bugs, the more issues come to the game. But if they just started adding in some small things, if they changed up kind of, I know the daily system is not, a, not very popular right now. If they maybe tweak the daily kind of challenge system, maybe a little bit more. If they changed up some of the stranger missions, you know, week in and week out. If, if they added some small bug fixes, you know, with their, you know, with their weekly updates. Uh, if they added in some, you know, just little small random things. It wouldn't have to be some massive update every week. You know, if you had like a gig or two update, you know, every couple weeks, maybe two times a month. And just add in some small things to get to the point of, you know, four, five, six months down the road. All of these small updates together have really improved the game. Have added new things in, new experiences, like I said, for new players and returning players and players that have been around for a long time. I just think there's so much potential with the game. I really hate to see, you know, the community just absolutely destroy it. And I, I mean, I can guilty of myself saying, you know, it's just nothing's happening. And well, I guess that's just, you know, kind of the truth. You know, it's just facts. Everybody can see that. I try to avoid just absolutely bashing any game 
But at the same time, I think the reason a lot of us talk about, you know, how we're disappointed with the way the game's going is because we want to see the game improve, no matter what you play. You know, I play a lot of different games. I'm a big fan of Battlefield. I'm a big fan of Call of Duty. When all those games have issues, uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, uh, I play a lot of that as well. When those games have issues, you know, I, I kind of make my points vocal on YouTube to kind of get your guys' opinions, of course, and also kind of get my opinion across just in case, you know, somebody ever sees a video and, 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 you know, thinks, well, you know, here's what the community thinks. You know, you try to get your points out on Twitter or, or on Reddit or whatever the case may be. And most people are passionate about games because they enjoy the games. And I really want to see Red Dead Online improve. I would like to see Red Dead Online get to the point where it doesn't have to be GTA Online, but get to the point where it seems like a game that is updated properly and something that we all can enjoy playing. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner. So you know when everything goes live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.